Hey parents, Mr. Jim here. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to encourage learning in a way that's actually exciting. I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. I can't help but play along with my kids as we're having a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. Genius Starter Kits come with a base and reflector that fit most iPad models. Available at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time or you're still newer to our family, I want to encourage you to try five. That's our challenge where for five days in a row, your kids listen to some awesome stories to use their imagination and watch their creativity come to life. You see, we make stories every single day for you and uh, you just never know what kind of story you're going to find on any given day. So hang with me for five days, whether maybe driving in the car or maybe during lunchtime. And I think you're going to find something pretty amazing happens. Well, friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Benny and Leppy became quick friends. If you remember from the last episode, Leppy was a spy gecko that traveled all the way across the world. And Benny was on our spy team. Benny and Lippy were going to be new spy partners, and they loved to hang out and play together. They became quick and great friends. One day, they received a super secret message from HQ, and it said, Be on the lookout, purple ninjas. They have been seen in your neighborhood. They're looking to take everybody's flowers. This is HQ, over and out. Holy smokes, Benny said. That's terrible. Everybody in our neighborhood has flowers around their house. This is bad. Benny looked at his spy gecko, Leppy, and Leppy said, It's gonna be okay. We can use our brains and think of a great way to stop them. Hmm. The two of them sat and thought for a second, and Benny said, Oh, what if we get our spy gear and hide in the bushes? And wait for the purple ninjas to come and then... <gasps> That's a great idea, said Leppy. But I think we could be a little smarter with our time because we don't know when they're going to come and I don't want to be sitting in a bush all day. So maybe we could set a trap. I love traps. Oh, that's a great idea, Leppy. But do you have any idea, like, what kind of trap we should make? Yes, I do, said Leppy. Let's make a pile of really pretty flowers and put them all in the grass in just one pile and then you see here Leppy pulled out a very small spy net blaster oh that is the smallest net blaster I've ever seen so now it was time to set the trap a trap that would helpfully capture purple ninja they were here Not for our candy this time, which has happened before, but they were here to steal our flowers so the trap would be a pile of flower petals. And so the two of our spies, Benny and Leppy, started walking around the neighborhood. They didn't want to go into people's yards, so they actually went to the forest and in their own backyard. They needed to collect as many flower petals as they possibly could. All kinds of colors Yellow, pink, red, sunflowers, daisies. They grabbed handfuls and made a giant pile on their grass front yard. And then Benny opened up his bedroom window and he said, All right, let's camp out up here. We can get a good lookout for the purple ninjas. Oh, I have a better idea, said Leppy. Let's use one of our sensors to put by the flowers. What's a sensor? asked Benny. Oh, we have some spy sensors in this bag here, and if someone walks past it, then it beeps on our phone. Ooh, that's perfect, said Benny. 
All right, so let's put a couple of sensors around the flowers, go back to the room, and wait for the trap to be set and catch ourselves a real purple ninja. The two of our spies ran up to Benny's bedroom, opened the window, and made a fort to hide inside of so that they wouldn't be spotted as they looked out the window, waiting for the purple ninjas to fall into their trap. I'm getting kind of hungry, said Leppy. Oh, can we go get a snack? Benny said. Absolutely. What do you like? I love crickets. Ew, Benny said. That's kind of different, and you know, I actually don't eat crickets. So you can eat crickets. I'm going to have some goldfish. Sound good? And so Benny and Leppy ate their snack, and it was while they were eating their snack. Their walkie-talkie began to alert. Bzz, bzz. Bzz, bzz. Beep, 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 beep. <gasps> That's the sensors, said Leppy. That means the purple edges are right by the flowers. Well, we gotta go back upstairs. They ran upstairs to Benny's room as fast as they could when they got up to the window. Sure enough, there were two purple ninjas standing right in front of the trap. They started filling their bags full of all these flower petals, thinking they had hit the jackpot. Steve, this is the greatest jackpot of flowers we've ever seen. I know. I just can't wait to get this out of here and make all the people... Wait, what was that? What was that sound? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard something up at that window. Benny and Leppy had to duck down out of the way of being spotted. We're running out of time, Betty. You gotta blast him with this net blaster. Hurry! Benny grabbed onto the net blaster. Ready? Aim. Blast! <laughs> ah! What's this thing coming off of me? Yes! We caught him! Shouted Benny as he reached down to give Leppy a high five. It wasn't that much longer before HQ arrived and took these purple ninjas away never going to be able to do anything bad ever again. Hooray, Benny said. Wow, we're a great team, Leppy. Yeah, that was, that was awesome and super fun. I hope they send us the next mission really soon. But uh, my tummy's grumbling. Oh, do you want a snack? Asked Benny. Yeah, I think I need some more crickets. Well, I guess that's a new piece of equipment that Benny's going to have to keep in his spy pack at all times. Snack crickets for Leppy, his spy gecko partner. The end. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Hey, Barons, Mr. Jim here to tell you why our kids love learning with Osmo's Genius Starter Kit. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, thanks, Osmo, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to actually encourage learning in a way that's really exciting. I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. You see, Osmo uses real tangible pieces that look and feel just like toys that interact with an immersive digital experience. So don't just watch, but play along with your kids and have a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. The Genius Starter Kit comes with a base and a reflector that fits most iPad models. Available at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Great job. You listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Noah and Arlie from Australia, Maxwell from Texas, Noam, Harl, Roy, and Liliana from Israel, Elijah from Langley, Canada, Pierre from Bolivia, Eli from Arizona, and Maxwell and Elias from Indianapolis. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kitchener Stories family. We could not stop Dr. Seeky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.